Despite agriculture being the backbone of the economy, it is among the least preferred economic activities or even sources of employment by the youth. Currently, the average age of a modern-day farmer in Kenya is 65. It is for this reason that the government has committed 2 billion shillings to support youth in agriculture in a program that would benefit more than 750,000 young people within five years. The 2 billion Kenya Shilling Youth Fund will be used to train our young people in new farming techniques and we are in talks with our development partners to raise a further 7 billion Kenya Shillings over the next five years for the same purpose. The president says the government will ensure that Kenya gets its fair share of a new financing to support agriculture pledged by United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, Tokyo International Conference on African Development and African Green Revolution Forum. And my government will make certain that Kenya gets its fair share of this new financing. And we will manage the money equitably so that we can transform the lives of our farmers. To cushion farmers from adverse weather conditions, the government has introduced a crop insurance scheme that is being tested in Bungoma, Nakuru and Embu counties that has so far benefited a thousand farmers. Indeed, already a thousand farmers in these counties have already benefited from the premium sub subsidy at a cost of Kenya shillings 300 million. To fully exploit Kenya's marine wealth potential, measures have been put in place to revitalize the blue economy, including reflagging an additional fishing vessel in the Indian Ocean. The new Fisheries Management and Development Act is expected to seal loopholes that have seen Kenya lose 10 billion shillings annually to illegal and unregulated fishing. The process of procuring an offshore patrol vessel at a cost of 3.7 billion to patrol the exclusive economic zone. 